What's going on boys and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be episode number 15 of the Pure Iron Man series. Um, you will see that we have been going crazy on the easy clues uh, in the invent and we have 50 easy clue caskets ready to open in this video. So we're going to be getting a lot of different things done today. We're still looking to get our vestment robes unlocked. We have the bottoms, we have a couple pairs of bottoms and we will be looking to get a mitre and a rope top and then that will pretty much be the easy clues completed. Um, I wouldn't mind a ham joint. I think you can get a ham joint as well from there. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into it and we'll hopefully we can enjoy the video. Also another thing to note, um, there will be a giveaway in this video, so if you do leave a like and a comment, make sure you comment your in-game name as well, um, and let me know what you thought of the video, and you will automatically be entered into a giveaway for GP or a bond, um, and this is just to say thank you for all the recent support, um, and overall just really really enjoy making the series. So yeah, let's get into the first set of clues. First one, Black D Black G, that was pretty cool, uh, White Barrett, and Carl, we're getting a lot of uniques already. Uh, we're going to go through the steel kite shield. I'd love some iron G. That would be pretty nice. Um, an imp mask. That's also pretty cool. There's so many different cool things you can use because I'm one defense. So I don't really have much armor options. So these are just kind of cool to just unlock a lot of different items to be able to use. Um, so yeah, that's the first invent done and we're going to come back with some more. So we're back with our next 10. So let's go. Uh, nothing too exciting. Some runes. All of this stuff's handy. I can always sell it. Oh, Blue Wizard G. That's pretty nice. Um, purple Sweets are also actually pretty handy to have because I'm going to be going for the Fire Cape very, very soon. Black Bucket Helm. It would be pretty cool if I had 30 to 13 defense. Um, dead Glue. Terrible. Terrible. Um, some teleports. They dig site ones. Pest Control. Not really too useful to be honest. But yeah, there's 10 more open. Next 10, we are hopefully going to get some vestment ropes because we could really do these. Um, these didn't actually take too long to get. It took a couple of hours, but not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, we're going to open these, see if we get anything else. Some more teleport. It's just going to spam through these now. Blueberry, that's pretty cool. Um, studded body and some fire layers. Hopefully we can get some pieces. We literally just need the hat and the top and we're literally done. Starting to get a bit close to the end now. Um, some more food, not too bad. Oh, a page. I forgot about pages, actually. We are pretty close to completing some of the books. What's that? Sleeping cap. Not very much used to us, but still cool items to get. I do like getting a different, unique 11 pair of sleep. So white beret, that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, we're going to get onto the final couple of clues, and then we'll get into the video properly. I really had a better expectation for this. My luck hasn't really been great, so <laughs> we... Uh, hopefully can at least get one piece that would be nice but it doesn't really look too likely i mean we've opened 50 which is quite a lot of clue scrolls and um we're gonna look like we're not gonna get anything so yeah we got another black wizard hat tea we already have that unfortunately but it's still a cool item to get you'll see us with 157 easy clues completed unfortunately we didn't manage to get any but oh well on to the rest of the video guys shout out to uh cello in the next clip for making all of our uh iron man goals uh this is going to be our new sort of thing that we're working towards um you see we've already unlocked the wizard boots manacles the bottoms of the chaps um, we're waiting to get some Zamorak chaps, we've got the cape and we've unlocked the books also so yeah we're looking pretty good on that um, and in the future episodes we'll be looking to unlock more of those. Um, unfortunately we didn't manage to get any of the vestment stuff from the 50 clue scrolls but yeah we're going to get back into the video um, and we'll see what we get up to. So up first we are going to be changing our name. Um, we are going to get rid of the YT in the name and we're just going to be known as Hutch OSRS. Um, just like the channel name and I think that was pretty cool. You'll actually see me in some gear that might look familiar um, And that's because we will be hitting up Dakin off Rex a little bit towards the end of the episode Next up decided to go and get some jewelry made up um, I was mining some stars and we ended up with a decent amount of cash um, we We're getting pretty low at that point um, also decided to make some fire battle staff so i had some fire orbs in the bank from when we went to a lava dragons and these are actually really good alkables you actually get about ten thousand per um staff so that's pretty nice um done some crafting i noticed i was pretty close to a crafting level so i just managed to finish it off really we had some molten glass left over and obviously we will be looking to get the amulet of fury in the future um so yeah that's 74 crafting unlocked up next we uh hit up with some blast furnace i was just making some cannonballs um, i actually made about three thousand in total i believe um and we managed to get ourselves 71 smithing which is nice um it means we can start making adamant axes we do have a lot of adi bars in the bank and a lot of adi ores but i think i'm just going to make cannonballs until i get a little bit higher 
um, level so that we can get some good GP back from the adamant bars and the adamant ores that we have. Um, also added in some more lamps from collecting fossils. Um, we have over 57 herb lore now which is nice we're actually going to be going for 58 um, because you can get the herb box herb sack whatever it's called i also got a scorpion uh, scorpions task uh, for wildy slayer i was actually just decided to do some and i thought you know what i'm going to try scorpion out because we're going to be looking to get ourselves a hundred the one in 128 drop of the dragon skimitar i could also try and get it from soul wars but i decided that scorpio could be pretty fun be nice to get on the high scores as well it just makes our account look a little bit better and who knows we might actually get a chance of getting the pet and it's pretty easy to do i was using the slayers staff e um, i've never actually used it before and it's actually really nice it doesn't you don't even really need the ibon staff anymore and it would be nice to get 79 magic though because using um snares is not so easy to do it because when you lure and over the guards it can be a little bit of a problem because the they don't last for too long um, overall though we got plenty of super anti poisons we got plenty of super restores from um, last man standing and also if you have continued watching the video for this long uh, the giveaway will actually be for around 10 mil I believe or between 5 and 10 mil I'm not too sure but I'll leave it in the comments and then I will pick a winner at random and in the next video I will choose one of the comments that has um, been done on the video so yeah we're carrying on with some more scorpio i think we end up with around 25 kc by the end of this um and it's pretty really really nice place to go really and you get a lot of rune items so we don't actually have any melee items um for anything really because the hacker dropped our ancient staff we can't actually get one back and if we do get the dragon skimitar over the next couple of weeks then it would be nice but if not i'll just stay 50 attack strength isn't really too important on a pure iron man account because i'm trying to keep my distance from most of the monsters that i'm killing to save uh supplies and stuff but obviously in the future it will become quite important so just as we're finishing off the last couple of kills on the Scorpio, you see we didn't really manage to get too much. We got a Rune 2H, which is some decent GP from Alkin, but once again, nothing too crazy. Got a couple of Rune Spears and stuff, but nothing too great. Uh, we actually decide to start getting some Runes back again. We do have a lot of money in the bank, so picked up some Nature Runes, um, and this will be the start of us going back to Dagonoff Rex. Um, I also killed about 200 Revenant Hobgoblins, because I, like I said in the earlier clip, I will be trying to unlock the rev weapons, so that's where the battle staffs come from, lots of bracelets, and we actually end up with almost a million GP, which is lovely. Um, also doing some herbivore on the side still, because we're going for 70 herb lore. So yeah, we killed a couple of Rexes, I actually died, so I kind of just give up with it later on in the clip. Um, but we managed to get two kills, I think it was, nothing too crazy. And then just to finish off the episode... Uh, I decided to do the Temple of the Eye quest because runecrafting is our lowest skill by far and it was a nice way to get some total levels. Pretty cool quest, it was pretty simple, it's nothing too exciting really and we actually ended up with 28, maybe 30 um, runecrafting which isn't too bad so once again guys uh, that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you all enjoy the longer video and I will try to keep them a lot longer as a lot of people do ask for that. Once again, if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. And thanks for checking it out, guys. Cheers for watching and peace.